What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got a new showdown card to review today and it is going to be your boy David Neres. Boys, they have released back-to-back -back showdowns, back-to-back -back showdowns, something I don't think they've ever actually done. But hey, I'm not complaining because I'm looking at this card and I'm thinking to myself, he looks nice. He looks very nice. 96 pace, 92 dribbling, 86 shooting, 86 passing, with the 77 physicals as well. He is a 5 foot 9 player with medium, medium work rates, 5 star skill moves, and a 4 star weak foot. He already had the skill moves, so obviously they didn't touch that. But the one thing he didn't have was the weaker foot. They gave him a weak foot upgrade, going from 3 star weak foot over to 4 star. Now, when it comes down to the chem style I have gone for, it is going to be the marksman chem style. If you're going to use this card put the marksman like it's so obvious to hit a marksman onto this guy it's ridiculous like it gives him that high what's called high reactions which he clearly does need it also boosts his shooting ability which i must admit he doesn't really need but it's always nice to have it boosted and it also gives him that strength he's going from 76 strength over to 86 strength and that is something you don't see very often on a five foot nine player but look at that pace 96 acceleration with that 96 sprint speed you know this guy is about to be rapid now his shooting ability 91 attacking positioning 98 finishing 92 shot power 92 shot power 90 long shots 85 volleys with the 86 penalties as well and if we are looking at his shooting traits this guy has got one and it is going to be the outside foot shot trait i would have wished it was the finesse shot trait but it is what it is now his passing ability it does look like you have to keep it a bit more simple with him. Like when it comes down to the long passing being 80, it doesn't obviously look the greatest. But I feel like that 94 vision and 80 long passing might actually balance out a little bit. So I reckon he's going to be able to do those over top through balls, but not very consistent. So he also has 91 short passing and 82 curve to his game as well. Now his dribbling ability. This is where I feel like he's going to shine because I know with those kind of stats, he is going to feel good on the ball, especially with those five-star five star skill moves as well. So this guy has got 97 agility, 93 balance, 89 reactions, 99 ball control, 99 dribbling with the 87 composure as well. And if we are taking a look at the physicals, 76 jumping, it is what it is. He's a 5'9 player. You don't expect him to win headers at all. But he has got the 86 stamina, which means he will be lasting for the whole 90 minutes. He has got 86 strength with the 70 aggression as well now when it comes down to the links you can link this guy up with so many so many good players it is ridiculous one player getting a hyperlink with him it is going to be anthony i believe it's a future stars anthony you can get a hyperlink with this david neres uh, neres card right here also you can obviously get links with when it comes down to players like robin graven birch Kleiber. so the links with this guy is also very good but what i've personally gone for is going to be icons i've got your boy deco once again making an appearance and your boy carlos alberto as well to get him on full chemistry the positions i will be trying him in it is going to be the 442 in that strike position in a 4231 in that land position and i might give this guy a go in that cam position as well because he has got those medium medium work rates but let's get into the games neres over to Mares. give it back to him good control gonna go for that scoop turn Oh, that's filthy. Can I get the angle for the finesse shot? No, I really did try it to see if we can actually get it. But it didn't really work out. Hold up. Hold up. We got the angle here. Can we go for that near post finish? And we are going to get the goal. I'm so sad we didn't score off that sombrero flick. But it is what it is. We eventually get the goal. Through that middle. Give, give it to David here. Go for that turn. That's a sharp turn as well. And we are going to score it with that stronger foot towards that near post. Do you see how fast he actually did that scoop turn just to get around the corner? And how quick he actually took that shot as well? And the accuracy, the power, it didn't really give the keeper a chance. It's a good scoop turn. That's a nice little run from him as well. Gonna see if I can get around the corner and he completely gets bodied off the ball. That is something I am expecting to happen time to time. If he plays up against a person like Virgil van Dijk or a player like, I don't know, Boateng, let's say, he will be getting bodied off the ball even though he has got 86 strength. Give it through the middle there. Fake shot. Lacoqueta through the middle. That's perfect. I want to get it onto that stronger foot. Go for the finesse shot. It was here with a lot of power, but it was a good save from Allison. Gonna see if I can give it to Neres' feet here. Oh, he does so well. Going to try to get around. I've screwed this up, haven't I? Hold up. Let me try to recover. Boys, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to be honest. But we're going to see. Through the middle. Oh, my God. We've actually through. Hold up. 
Hold up. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh my god. We've actually got a goal out of that, boys. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't know what I was doing when I was down low. Like, I was just going all over the place, to be fair. But we eventually get the angle, and we eventually get the goal. His skill moves do come off very nicely, though. That's something I really am enjoying about him. Like, he keeps it very close to his feet. Hold up. Right-footed finesse shot. No way. With the four-star weak foot as well. If that went in from that angle, honestly, I would have been very surprised. Keep going, Felix. Neres has made that run. That's well played. I'm going to go for that overtop through ball. Take that touch. Just smack it across goal. And it is going to be another goal to add to the list. Boys, right now, this guy's finishing ability is looking top tier. This guy has no idea. I'm going to be honest. He has no idea where I'm going to go. Keep running. Ball roll. Oh, that's filthy. That is absolutely filth. No way, by the way. We actually get round the keeper there. I thought the keeper was just going to come out and collect the ball. But, hey, I'll take the ball roll and I'll take the guaranteed goal. Going to see if I can get him to... I've noticed his movement, by the way. Like, look how passive he is sometimes. Like, I want him to make that run going upwards so I can just go ahead and through ball him. But there is occasions where he does actually come short a fair bit. So, if you are a person that likes him to consistently get in behind, then obviously you are going to have to force the instruction on him. But just know that he will st still be coming short time to time. That's a good pass. Flick around a corner. Get a bit lucky. There you go. Keep going. Turn it. Hill to hill. Oh, that's filthy. Get the angle for the right foot. No way, Joe Hart. To be fair, it was quite central. I was expecting it to go a bit more into the corner. But wow, to get the angle with that flip flap as well. Come on, man. That deserved a goal. Good pass. First time fake shot. Well played. Use that pace. It's going to be up against Adama Traore. But look at that strength coming to play. Keep going. Keep going. I know, you know, the pace is... It's going to be a hard one to, you know, kind of outpace Adama Traore. He took a very weird touch, but Adama eventually bodies him off the ball. This is what I mean. There's going to be certain occasions where, like you saw, he will body off a player. But I reckon it's not going to happen every single time because of his body type and because of his height. So we have moved him into the cam position now. And we are going to see how he's actually going to play there. Is he going to be a player that's going to be quite aggressive? Or is he going to give me those passing options right there? He did do pretty well to give me the passing option because I thought he was actually going to go and run, but he kind of faked me out a little bit. Neres on the ball. I see an LBY all the way to the top. Is it going to be a good pass? It is going to be a good pass. And it was on the weaker foot as well. Can I get it into the inside? Oh my God. If I could just go for a quick turn there, I saw David into that middle there. So if I can turn with Mares, pass across, it's a goal. Marquinhos, good pass. Pass it out wide to Mares. That was a very, very weird pass, but it works. Get that turn. No, I overdid it. I overdid it. I tried to get a hill to hill, and it really didn't do the skill move, but we could have got a goal there. Good positioning from him. Pass up to Makinos. He still gives me the passing option. Give it to Deco here. Is he going to make a move forward? He is. Now, if I give it to my striker... Yeah, he does. Okay, so as soon as I get near the 18-yard box, he does make those runs, which is really nice for him because that tells me if I'm passing with my CDMs, he should come short exactly like this. But if I go near, let's say the 18-yard box, he might make a movement going behind. Yeah, that is literally perfect. We couldn't get the finish with that weaker foot, but that's the movement I was expecting, and that's the movement I wanted. Well played, Felix. That's a nice angle. Get that fake shot. I like I'm going to cut back. Give a pass across towards to Mares, And we couldn't get a pass across. Nice interception from Sergio Ramos. But you can see how easy it is with him right there. To just create an angle and actually get past someone. Well played. I'm going to go for that dummy. Can I get a directional? I am well played. Bull roll. He's done well. Fake shot. Hit it with the right foot. This is what I mean, right? With the free, with a three-star weak foot there, would you really trust it? Most likely not. But because they gave him that weak foot upgrade, I can trust in that weaker foot and get these angles right here. Like, I've took plenty of shots with a weaker foot, and I must admit, some of, some of them haven't really gone well. But that one right there went straight into the corner. So it is time to review, and we ended up playing three games with David Neres. We scored six goals, and unfortunately, we could not come out and assist. But boys, there's no way this card right now is going for 140k. 140k for a card that has beautiful links when it comes down to the nationality and some really good really good links as well when it comes down to the league he plays in as well 140k bargain 
absolute bargain. You're telling me EA have gave us two extremely usable cards back to back days for a really, really good price. There has to be someone working at EA that is new. Surely there is no way they have gave us this card for 140k and they gave us this card for 170k yesterday. There's someone, someone's new, someone new is working at EA and they actually know what they are doing. So yeah, I do believe it is worth it. But let's get straight into the ratings. Pace wise, I will give him, I'll probably say like a 9.5 out of 10 for the pace. He is an extremely fast player. Shooting ability, everything on that left foot went in. Not everything on the right foot went in, but it was still, I felt like, very good. So for shooting, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like an 8.7 out of 10. Passing ability, he had a good pass to his game, but I did notice playing him in a cam position, that long pass all the way to the other side was not consistent. He would do it time to time, but it, you know, sometimes there'll be an odd occasion where it'll go too close to the defender, or it will simply go out of bounds. So for passing, I am going to give him, I'll probably say, I'll probably say like an 8.5. An 8.5 out of 10, 8.5 out of 10 seems very reasonable. Dribbling ability, I'm not going to give him a 10 out of 10. Simply because I did not feel like he was a he was a player that felt as good as someone like Neymar. But he was still a very, very good dribbler. So for dribbling, I am going to give him, I'll honestly say like a 9.6 out of 10. He 100% deserves it. And when it comes down to the physicals, you could see sometimes he was using his strength. But other occasions, other occasions where he was coming up against someone like Virgil van Dijk or coming up against someone like Adama Traore. He was getting bodied off the ball. So for physicals, I am going to give him, I'd honestly say, I'll probably say like an 8.2 out of 10. But an overall rating out of 10, boys. He is a really nice card for only 140k as well. I am going to give him, I'll probably say like a 9 out of 10. A solid 9 out of 10. It's 100% worth it. And I cannot believe, I honestly can't believe, they have gave us these two players for an extremely, an extremely cheap price. That is something you don't see very often from EA. But boys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.